Om Namah Shivaya students. As we were going through the text Deep Water, we saw that finally William wanted to learn swimming and hired an instructor for the purpose. Now let's come to the text. Next, he held me at the side of the pool and had me kick with my legs. For weeks, I did just that. At first, my legs refused to work, but they gradually relaxed and finally I could command them. So we see in the third phase of the learning process, the instructor taught William to kick the water's surface with his legs. He did this for many weeks. Initially, his legs did not move, but gradually they relaxed and finally William could order them to kick in the desired way. Thus, piece by piece, he built a swimmer and when he had perfected each piece, he put them together into an integrated whole. In April, he said, Now you can swim. Dive off and swim the length of the pool. Crawl stroke. Finally, the instructor made a swimmer out of William in phases. When William had perfected each phase, he compiled them. In the month of April, the instructor told William that now he could swim. He asked him to dive into the pool and swim the length of the pool in a particular style called the crawl stroke. I did. The instructor was finished. William swam and the classes came to an end. But I was not finished. I still wondered if I would be terror stricken when I was alone in the pool. I tried it. I swam the length up and down. Tiny vestiges of the old terror would return. But now I could frown and say to the terror, trying to scare me, eh? Well, here's to you. Look. And off I would go for another length of the pool. So William had not overcome the fear yet and wondered if the terror would grab him when he would be alone in the water. He tried to swim alone in the pool. The terror returned in small pieces. But now as he knew how to swim, he faced the terror with confidence. He swam another length of the pool. This went on until July, but I was still not satisfied. I was not sure all the terror had left. So I went to Lake Wentworth in New Hampshire, dived off a dock at Triggs Island and swam two miles across the lake to Stamp Act Island. I swam and crawled, breaststroke, side stroke and backstroke. Only once did the terror return, when I was in the middle of the lake. I put my face under and saw nothing but bottomless water. The old sensation returned in miniature. I laughed and said, Well, Mr. Terror, what do you think you can do to me? It fled and I swam on. William swam like this till the month of July, but was not satisfied. He wanted to be sure that all of the fear had left him. So he went to Lake Wentworth in New Hampshire, dived into it from Triggs Island and swam for two miles up to Stamp Act Island. He swam in different styles, crawl, breast, side stroke and backstroke. The terror returned only once when he was in the middle of the lake. When he put his head under water, he saw water all around and the fear returned. This time William laughed at the terror and said to it that it could not harm him. He saw that the terror vanished and he resumed swimming. Yet I had residual doubts. At my first opportunity, I hurried west, went up the Titan to Conrad Meadows up the Conrad Creek Trail to Meade Glacier and camped in the high meadow by the side of Warm Lake. The next morning I stripped, dived into the lake and swam across to the other shore and back, just as Duo Corporon used to do. I shouted with joy and Gilbert Peak returned the echo. 
I had conquered my fear of water. William still had some doubt about the fear. So he hurried towards the western direction. He went up the Titan, reached Conrad Meadows, walked up the Conrad Creek Trail to Mia Glacier. He camped at the meadow by the warm lake. The next morning he wore the swimming costume and dived into the lake. He swam across it to the other end and returned just like the famous American duo Corporon used to do. William shouted with joy as he had overcome his fear. His voice resounded as the mountain peak named Gilbert Peak echoed it. He had overcome his fear. The experience had a deep meaning for me as only those who have known stark terror and conquered it can appreciate. In death there is peace. There is terror only in the fear of death. As Roosevelt knew when he said, All we have to fear is fear itself. Because I had experienced both the sensation of dying and the terror that fear of it can produce. The will to leave somehow grew in intensity. At last, I felt released, free to walk the trails and climb the peaks and to brush aside fear. The experience had a great importance in William's life. He realized that death was peaceful and only the fear of death was fearful. He recollects the words of one of the presidents of America, Franklin Roosevelt. Roosevelt had said that all we have to fear is fear itself. As William had experienced death and the fear of death, his desire to live grew immensely. He felt released from fear and was free to walk up the trails and climb up the mountains fearlessly. So students, we have finished this text. We will be discussing the main points and question answer in the next class. Thank you. Om Namah Shivaya.